briefly now with our next guest, James Riley, the Fine Gael health spokesman, who's joining us to talk about the Fine Gael motion on the VHI uh, price increases and the Milliman report. But before we go to that, James Riley, and good morning to you. Good morning, um, on you. What do you make of it all? The Fianna Fáil leadership uh, settled and uh, the Green Party leader, John Gormley and Brian Cowan meeting today to discuss uh, the general election. Well, the reality for the country is that while Fianna Fáil engages in their internal dispute, the country continues to drift aimlessly and heading for the rocks. And some would say already on the rocks with over 440,000 people unemployed the IMF in the country and a deal done that certainly isn't to the benefit of the Irish people. So, I mean, what we want to see is an election as soon as possible to give people a chance. I mean, as we're just talking here this morning, as I said previously, there are people making their mind up whether to leave or to stay in this country. Is it your sense that that election date is... We believe this country has a bright future, but we need new government, new leadership, and we need reform of so many aspects of our both government, political system, health, education... Uh, banks and our economy. And is it your sense that that election date is slipping further and further away? I certainly get a sense from listening to Brian Cowan and from others that they want to try and push it to April. Next thing it'll be the other side of Easter and before you know it they'll be talking about the summer, you know. And the problem with that is that our international reputation is in tatters, that the international community is looking on waiting for a new government. Uh, the signs and the indications have been, and we certainly intend to go to the people for a mandate to renegotiate the IMF deal. And that's anticipated in Europe, and I think would be welcomed there. So does so, that make the Labour no confidence motion a, a more important thing now for the opposition? Well, we'll have to reflect on that now, given the result of this. Um, as we said at the time, we was, wanted to stand back and wait and see what the outcome would be of this. Uh, had there been a different outcome we might have had a different view so I, I, we will certainly be meeting and talking about that now this week and we'll view all the options one of the things that we were particularly keen on was that if we did move a vote of no confidence that we would succeed on this occasion because the country is badly in need as I say of a new government we didn't want to put down a motion that couldn't succeed I mean as long as the Greens are welded to this government and that, that Jackie Healy Ray and Michael Larry continue to support it, then there's no hope of us having success. However, right. we'll review the situation now, particularly in the light of some of the disarray that Fianna Fáil finds itself in today.